Hi, I'm Agnès. Welcome to my eclectic channel. One of the, the things that I like to do for fun is knitting and I've been working on a uh, vintage inspired uh, pink dress set. This is the last piece. Uh, it's it's going to be the jacket that goes over it. Uh, and this project inspired me to talk about uh, the, the design and the fit of set-in sleeves when you're knitting. While I might use patterns uh, as inspiration and a starting point, I often end up just uh, doing my own thing. And in knitting, I find that it's really not that hard. Uh, it's uh, contrary to what people think. It involves very little math. Uh, but sleeves can be a little trickier. Uh, there is uh, there's uh, two websites that I found uh, really helpful in uh, in knitting this project and in the making of this video that I'm linking below. So first, I'd like to talk about what setting sleeves are. Uh, I actually had to look up what that was called <laughs> recently. Uh, setting sleeves, or in English anyway. Uh, setting sleeves are uh, the most the most common type of sleeves in uh, apparel. That's what I have on right now. Uh, so if you look at your garments, if you have a shoulder seam, that is most likely a, that is a setting sleeve. Um, if you have a shoulder sleeve that falls off your shoulder longer, um, that hangs, it could be an ill-fitting setting sleeve or box sleeves. I'm not going to go into all the types of sleeves that we can have uh, in knitting. We certainly have options. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on the setting sleeve. That is the most uh, fitted uh, type and arguably maybe the harder one to do. There are two parts uh, in making setting sleeves. Uh, and that is uh, you have, uh, and, and most sleeves, I don't want to generalize lots of ways of making sleeves in knitting, um, but most commonly, uh, you'll have an armhole and then you have uh, the sleeve. So for instance, and, and they have to be shaped uh, one by one and then everything has to fit. And that's the hardest part. It has to fit to the body and the puzzle pieces have to come together. Uh, so as an illustration here, I have uh, the, the, the back part of my jacket and I have one of the front parts. And um, when you're assembling this garment together, you bring it shoulder to shoulders uh, and you're going to assemble, you're going to knit, the, you know, knit, no, we're done with it, we're done with the knitting. Uh, these are pressed, ready to block them, pressed. Uh, no, so we, we, do a, uh, we do a shoulder seam and then you have here this curve. This is the armhole. Uh, and then in this armhole will come the sleeve. And you can see here that the puzzle pieces do not fit together at all. Well, that's because this is on a flat surface. The human body is not flat. So this is kind of like those world maps that get very distorted uh, when you get to the very extreme latitudes. It's kind of like that. So trust me, I've road tested this. Uh, it, it, it comes into a 3D garment where the sleeve sits into, uh, fits into uh, the armhole. Uh, so I want to start with the armhole. Um, so you'll have, uh, essentially, for, for the armhole, um, this is really what, what you're looking at, at, at shaping. So you're knitting your, your garment from the bottom and you're working your way up. And eventually you get to a point where you need to do a, a armhole. Uh, so in order to uh, do this work, there's some key measurements uh, that one has to make. The best way to make those measurements really is to find a garment that uh, fits you well or the person you're making the garment for um, that's that's the best and I, I know uh, it's uh, it's hard to find garments that that fit really well and that's kind of the point of making your own uh, so so there are ways if you if you don't have a starting point there are ways as well but let me illustrate first uh, on on a, a an existing uh, sweater um, that fits uh, well. Uh, so you will want to take, uh, the first measurement will be across the shoulders. So from shoulder seam to shoulder seam. 
if you don't have a garment that fits well, you go, you can go right on your body. Uh, for some of these, it's really best to have a helper, but if you don't, uh, you can do, normally you take it in the back, but that's really difficult to do unless you have a helper. So in the front, uh, you, you, you find where the seam should go, uh, you want it really on your shoulder, not drooping off your shoulder, not too close to the neck. So you go from, from here uh, across and, and, and take that reading. Uh, so that's the shoulder to shoulder, uh, shoulder seam to, to shoulder seam measurement. The second measurement you need is the one that's happening right under uh, the arms. And th this one on your own body would be the widest. Um, so it's, it's your bust measurement. So that, that goes, is the second measurement you need, is your bust measurement. Uh, and then uh, you also need to know how high the armhole is. So here it's really best to have a, um, a garment to measure. So you want to go from the shoulder and straight down, like vertically down to where the, the under, uh, where the, what's it called, the, where the seat, where the sleeve is attached to the armhole under the arm. And so you want to make that, uh, th that measurement. Um, if you don't have a starting sweater, or maybe the fit is a little different, you can, you can estimate that pretty okay. But, so you got to be careful, because this one you want to start. Uh, so here I was, I was taking a flat measurement, because I'm able to lay my sweater down flat. If you're making the measurement on your body, you got to take into account your curvature. So you're going to start uh, at the shoulder seam, like the one that goes this way. <laughs> so you want to start there and you go down, and for setting sleeves, uh, you really don't have much choice as to where you stop this. Uh, the setting sleeves are such that uh, you don't want this to be too low, because otherwise uh, that would be a different type of sleeves. <laughs> the setting sleeves are fitted, and so they need to start under your armpit. But not too close, because then you can't, you can't move, it'd be really tough to put on and impossible to wear. So, so you want to be a little below uh, your, your armpit and you can judge that um, from your clothes and, and from how, how it feels. So that, that's the kind of uh, measurement that you want and you want to take it following the curvature of your body. Um, so that, that's, uh, those are the measurements that we need to do the armhole shaping. While I'm at it, I also want to talk about the measurements that you need to make that will allow you to make the sleeve itself. And here I need to talk about the anatomy of a sleeve. Uh, there is uh, the sleeve cap and I guess let's call the rest of the sleeve. Uh, so if I draw a line, you see there's this, this, curve, this uh, curved area here. This is the top of the sleeve, this is the bottom of it. Um, so if I, if I just put that line um, across here, this separates the sleeve cap from uh, the rest of the sleeve. This part of the sleeve is just a trapezoid. Most often that's all it's going to be, unless you're doing something really uh, novel with your sleeves. Uh, and then uh, the top part here is called the sleeve cap. The two parts are different in that uh, when, you, when you put together your sleeve, there's the part that gets closed and the trapezoid is the part that wraps around your arm. And the sleeve cap, you don't close that off, the sleeve cap is what attaches to the armhole, as discussed. Um, so we, we take a number of measurements there to allow the shaping to happen. Um, so first you need to know how big to make this, so the trapezoid. Uh, how wide should it be on this side? How wide should it be on that side? And then how high? So that will all depend on your sleeve style and ease. Uh, so, you, so you need to see how long you want your sleeve. So this is completely general. Uh, it will work for short sleeves, what this is, uh, three quarter, uh, all the way, wherever your sleeve is going to land, that's where you take your measurement and put the proper ease, so you, you, can, you can do uh, sleeves that 
I mean, really anything. Mine is tapering off, but yours may not. It could go even the other way. Uh, really depends on the shape of the sleeve, a kimono sleeve, just straight. Uh, so anyway, you decide how long and how wide it is at the base. That, that, that's one uh, measurement. The second measurement uh, goes right under your arm. It's uh, the armhole, like the underarm measurement. The circumference of the arm right where the sleeve is going to attach to the garment. So for, for, for this one, again, add enough ease. That one's challenging. The circumference of your arm right under the arm. Uh, <laughs> my cat really not, is not that huge. Uh, it's just that he's in front of me. Coco. Yeah. Let's put this big. Oh, shit. Okay. Where was I? And that's it. Um, the you, you might if if you if you knit uh, or if you have a fast mind, you might think I, I also need to know this width. Uh, that you don't uh, because it gets worked out from everything else that we measured. Next time, we'll put those measurements to use and design the pattern for our sleeves. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like.